Hello, so this is the first part of uh, VFX Quickie. It's just going to be a quick uh, set of videos that I'm going to be putting out. I don't know how many I'm going to do, I'll probably do them when and where I can. Um, aiming to do between 1 and 10 over the next few months. This is going to be the first one, and it's just going to be a simple effect of compositing in some breath over some uh, footage. So, first thing we're going to do is just make a quick composition, um, keeping it the same as our footage generally. The footage I'm bringing in is 4K but I'm going to be downscaling it. I'm just going to call it VFX Quickie Breath. And I'm going to take my footage I've set and set in an in and an out point. So this is the part I've got here where I'm in focus. So I've set my in point here and my out point to there. Then I can just bring the footage down into my timeline. As it is 4K I can go to the scale, bring that down to 50 then that would just be set to match my composition. Next thing I'm going to do is just make a quick black solid. I'm going to call it fog. And over that solid, I'm going to bring in the fractal noise effect. I'm going to set the blend mode to screen. Take the total opacity to about 70 and then from about two seconds I'm going to hit the stopwatch to keyframe that animate it till about four seconds and I'm going to send the stop the uh, evolution round so if we press U to bring out the keyframes again what we can see is that's now animating the seed of the fractal noise to move I'm going to mask out the area around the mouth as well as a small circle around that to account for the space the breath is going to take up. I'm going to feather out my mask by a lot. And you can see that's starting to bring in the kind of breath effect, especially when it starts to animate. Probably feather that a bit more. On the fractal noise effect as well, just turn down the opacity a little bit. Turn up the contrast a little bit and brightness just to bring a more fog effect to it. Cool. Obviously it's just very static now at the moment so what we can do as well is we can bring the position, animate that again from the same positions from 2 seconds to 4 seconds and just have that move from right from uh, up to the top corner of the screen there. So that's just going to make it look like it's coming more out of the mouth. Because it's moving really fast, I might just move over the keyframe just to make it move a little bit slower. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the main opacity of the fog and I'm just going to keyframe that from about one and a half seconds in to two seconds to go from zero to 70. And I'm going to ease those in. So that's a little bit intense, so I might move the keyframe back. Or just have them come in when the actual animation itself starts. So I might change from 70 into 40 for a more subtle effect. Yeah, so it's more that the breath is coming out from the mouth itself. Okay, and then from about four and a half seconds, I'm going to add another keyframe and then at 5 seconds, a 4th and final keyframe and bring the opacity back down and once again, ease those in. So there we've got that effect of the breath coming in, out of the mouth, and then back out. Cool. And then one last thing I might do just to help sell the effect is just add in a simple track. So if I make a new null object, I'm just going to call that uh, track null. I'm going to go back down to my footage layer 
go to my tracker, track motion and find a point of contrast. In this case I'm going to use a spot over the right side of my cheek, just there. There's a bit more contrast between that and my skin. And I'm going to track forward from about one second to about three seconds in. Okay, so I'm going to cut the track off early, just about here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yep, so just make sure that your target is set to track null. Then press apply, apply dimensions. And then I'm going to parent the fog layer to the track null. And then for the first part of that composition, the breath will follow the mouth a little bit. I might delete some of these track points. So I'll make that evaporate a little bit longer maybe. Make it a bit more. And then I'll bring out the evolution keyframe as well to make sure that that seed keeps revolving around. Cool. And one last thing that we can do to that is then we can take the After Effects bulge effect. And pop that on find an area where it's going to pass over some skin, so look around here, and just turn up a bit, just to make it look like it's more rolling over skin, rather than just being flat. There we go, and then at 5 minutes and 20 frames in, I'm going to select all my layers and just close them off to finish the shot. Then what I can do is I can just pop to my composition settings and I'm just gonna change my composition to be five minutes and 12 seconds. That way when I pull it into Premiere, it's only gonna be the exact length I need it to be. I won't have any black space that I need to cut down. There you go, that's just a really quick and simple way to add some breath into a shot where you might need some breath. In this case, I was in a really cold environment, so I needed some breath to come out of the mouth to appear that I was colder than I was. There we go, that's episode one of VFX Quickie. Uh, there'll probably be another few of these to come soon. Thanks for watching, let me know if you did like it, um, and then I'll continue to make more. If you thought it was and you don't want to see it again, let me know and I won't make any more. Cheers.